Hello all. I don't know about you, but I'm having storage issues with my ever-growing collection of graphics cards and sound cards. Those that don't have their own box are all in a cupboard stacked one on top of the other in protective bags, and I have no idea what is what until I unpack them all and then take them out of their bags. They also take up a lot of room like this, and I figured I must be able to find a way to organise them better to make more efficient use of my storage space. I was recently watching an LGR video on the new Orpheus 2 ISA sound card, and I thought to myself, wow, that's incredibly useful. Not the sound card, sorry LGR, the tiny little 3D printed foot he'd made to stand it up and display it. Absolutely genius. It's an example of a thing I never thought I needed, but now wanted desperately, and I wondered if I could find anything like it to buy online. Well, not really. I posted about this on one of the Facebook groups I visit and Etsy was suggested. I found this card display stand, which looks brilliant, but at just under £8 per unit and £15 shipping from the States, it's a bit more than my budget can stretch to when I look at how many cards I have. I looked on Amazon for computer card stands or feet and there were no useful results. It was the same on eBay. In the end, I ordered some wooden blocks with 2mm slots in for acrylic displays from Amazon. This is something I could have done myself if I had a bandsaw or something, but I don't have that kind of room. They work, sort of. The gap is a smidge too wide, but if you were to pop a bit of paper in, it would be fine. I also ordered one of those plate stands to see if it would work for me. It works great for display purposes, but if I use it for storing, it would take up an awful lot of room. Another suggestion was to look for a local group or maker to do some 3D printing. I found what looked like the same thing on Thingverse, listed by a maker named Daniel, which seemed to be exactly what I was after. The file was then picked up and modified a bit more by a member of the Retro Machines Facebook group. He even added a rear foot for extra stability and extra wide feet for two slot cards. He's also put them up for sale on eBay, and you can find them by searching for PCI AGP PCIe card display stands. The link is also in the description, of course. All in all, I think it only took a week from posting my question through to the eBay link being up, so it just goes to show how quickly a turnaround these things can have. The only problem I do have is that I seem to have more cards than I thought so this is only half my collection set up, and I clearly need more double card slot stands. Right, well, that about wraps up this short video. Uh, more interesting stuff to show up in a bit. Working on three or four things at the same time, so it's taking forever. See you in the next one.